Welcome back to the Daily Grind. Today we're going to be doing a chop and drop to my sun hemp and buckwheat cover crop here. Uh, it is time. Now these are just a little over a month old. I planted the seed uh, mid-August. I believe it was the 19th when I planted it and it doesn't take long for these to come up and be ready. They are ready. I'm going to bring you guys in and show you. And you guys can see here that I've already got seed started on the buckwheat so I, I don't want to let these go any longer and end up having buckwheat become weeds for me so it's time to chop and drop these. I'm going to use these to chop it and then we will cover it and let's get to it. Alright, now it is chopped and dropped, and I tried to even it out a little bit, fix any holes, you know, too much soil. Here's the end of the bed, and you can see it's, it's pretty well covered everything. So this will decompose over time once I cover it, and should give me a really healthy high nitrogen bed to plant stuff in. Alright, so I'm going to get to heavily soaking this. I gotta water this down really heavily. That'll help the decomposition process. And then I'll tarp it and that'll keep that moisture in and help this to decompose two, three weeks, maybe even a month. And then I can uncover it and we can start planting. Three weeks later. Well, here we go, guys. It's looking pretty good. There's still a little bit of green, so somehow there's chlorophyll still in this after two weeks of being covered. But I think this will be fine. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come through and add another layer of compost on top before I go ahead and plant. All right, so I got this pretty cool tool. You fill this up with compost and then it evenly spreads it for you. And also, if, there's, if it's like a mulchy compost, which is what I've got, uh, it removes any of the bigger uh, particles as well because they can't fall through the grate. So it's, it's a pretty cool thing, which I'm going to do here. It's going to make a really nice uh, seeding bed. So that way when I put the seeds in, they'll have good germination. So let's get to this. So that looks a whole lot better. It definitely covered most of it. I still got quite a few sticks. I'm gonna wet this and uh, really hose this down. And then tomorrow I'll come back with another fresh layer of this compost on top. And I think that should cover everything. Uh, if I need, I can pull up some of these sticks, but boy, does that look a lot better. And most of it is covered and that compost is gonna help break this down. So I might need to let this wait and sit for maybe a week or two uh, before I plant in it. Well, that's looking really good, guys. 
I am going to go ahead and water this and let this sit for about a week. I'll, I'll probably tarp it once more for one week, let it be tarped and, and wet, see what breaks down, and then I can come through and seed this. So boy, that tool is really awesome. I really like it. By the way, if you guys are interested in any of the tools that I used, um, my cart, really great cart. I love this thing. The compost spreader, uh, any of this stuff. I got a lot of it on Amazon, not all of it, but I did get a lot and I will link below so you guys can check those out. I try to find the best deals for myself just because I don't like spending a lot of money, but I want something that's going to work and I found that these work just fine. I really like that compost spreader. So I will go ahead and link below for all the tools that I use. Four to six days later. Well, my camera stalled, so I don't know if I got this of me um, pulling this back, but I will say this looks really good. Okay, it's uh, still a little bit moist. Um, we've got uh, still some sticks on top that didn't get, you know, uh, covered. That's okay. These can just be pulled off like so. And so once I remove those sticks on top, there is a really nice bed here that I can seed. 